paid $5 at a yard sale. What a great find. Sold for $311.46 plus shipping. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These come from my Facebook group, and I invite everybody in the group to share their big money bolo. These are from December. Most of them sold on eBay, and these are going to knock your socks off, you guys. Uh, these are items that you should be looking for when you're outsourcing. And I would love for you guys to come over to the Facebook group. It has over 100,000 members and share a bolo. Best January bolo is up right now. And then next month will be February. The videos come out the month after, of course. So come share a bolo. I also have share your best plush bolo. Vintage Steely. Dan concert t-shirt 1993 single stitch Becker Fagan faces tour. This is what it looks like. There's your single stitch. And there you go. I don't even know who this is. Every time I say that about a band, you guys always are like, how do you not know who that is? Do you guys all know this one also? It says, hi, Court. I'm so behind on commenting, listing, and overwhelmed completely. But here are a few of my latest. My eBay store is Basket Case Mama Fab Finds. Finds on Poshmark, I'm sorry, Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot too. Found this cool vintage single stitch t-shirt at my local thrift store. It's a Steely Dan, and it was only $4. I grabbed it thinking it would be around $40. It wasn't a band I thought would fetch big bucks, but I was wrong. It sold for $135. That's fantastic. This is a Leapfrog Globe. I would not want to ship that. I hate finding box for weird-shaped items. Actually, this probably wouldn't be too bad. It is a electronic educational Eureka Challenge Quantum Leap Geography. So it is a uh, probably a great homeschool tool, right? Or for a teacher, a classroom, I don't know. She said, here's another one that I heard about from watching reseller videos. Found this for $5 at the local Goodwill about six months ago. We actually were laminating about... No, lamenting about how it would... Ah! how it hadn't sold yet and were surprised when that very day it sold during a sale in my store for $67.50. It is Leapfrog Globe that talks and does capital distances, information, population, and even quizzes. So much fun. She said her hubby loved it and thought it was the coolest toy ever. I knew it would sell and it did take a little while, but it could pick up for sure. So five into $67.50. But she said it was long tail. Now, I bet during, um, I know I sold a ton of Leapfrog during lockdown. Probably would have sold quicker then. The Bachman Books for four early novels, Stephen King, 1985, hardcover, first edition. This was an item from my personal stash. I have been reading Stephen King books since I was 13 when Carrie first came out. We are planning to move next summer, and since I only read books once generally... I decided to sell off my Stephen King novels. Much to my surprise, many are first editions and valuable. This one sold for $450 and the buyer is delighted. So am I. It is actually a collection of short stories he wrote under his pseudonym, Richard Bachman. Bachman, guys, there you go. And this one also comes from Basket Case Mama Fab Finds. Do you have bolos sitting on your bookshelf? Ooh, this one, Rare Turkey Creek Dimdotico. I can't say that word. There was just a plush in another video. So plush also, if you don't know, uh, is has that brand. Thanksgiving pumpkin Robin Kelso dinner scene dior, diorama. Diorama, I think is how you say it. She said, this is something I never saw before. It sold in November, but I thought you might like it because it would be a good bolo. This is by Demdotico, and it is a pumpkin diorama of Pilgrim family and Native Americans sharing a Thanksgiving feast. 
Super cute and remarkably unbroken. Got it for four at the Salvation Army and sold it for 104. Definitely one to watch for. So if you guys don't know, I'm looking at my phone and I'm reading exactly what they wrote on Facebook. So if you share in the Facebook group, um, you're going to put where you got it, what you paid for it, what it sold for, and you're going to shout out your YouTube channel or your selling platforms in the post, and then I'll shout them out in the video. It's a great way to get exposure and share a bolo. How cute is that? Did we look at the pictures? I don't know that we did. There it is. All right. The next one is this vintage Minnie Mouse animated angel tree topper. She said, I bought this adorable Minnie Mouse angel tree topper at a local estate sale over the summer. I waited until the holiday season to list it and it sold in just four days for full asking price of 75 plus the buyer paid shipping. I only paid three for her. Thanks so much, Courtney, for all the great videos. I've learned so much watching you. My eBay store is creations, etc. So it is a light up. Minnie Mouse, Disney, made in China. That's what it looks like. All right. This one says, I'm in Australia. In the 70s, there was a TV show, Skippy the Bush Kangaroo. Every kid either had the plate, cup, and bowl set or desperately wanted it. There's a bolo here. I was in my favorite OP shop, thrift store, and saw the saucer for a dollar. I've never seen a saucer and I grabbed it. No comps. So I put it up for auction starting at 35. It sold for 77 and was picked up same day. The guy was thrilled to complete his set. Love watching your show and learn so much. And this is a uh, Bessemer Skippy Bush Kangaroo Saucer Only. Rare, hard to find. And it's in great condition. Look at that. So I guess the learning thing here is this is from a TV show and it is a harder to find item. So you might've walked past it if you didn't know. Now this one, we're probably not gonna find in the US, but in Australia, definitely be on the lookout. I know people from Australia are watching in other countries. So thank you for sharing, I appreciate it. And this gives us kind of an idea of what's selling in other countries. So I love it and appreciate it. Carlton Cards Vintage Holiday Stickers Woodland Animals New Old Stock. Here we go, guys. This is a bread and butter, but something that you can probably pick up cheap and sell for a nice little profit. I recall Courtney sharing that the that she picks up vintage. Uh, I'm sorry, I am blah, 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 blah. Uh, picks up vintage stickers. So I took a gamble on a bag of random stickers at a rummage sale, church rummage sale that is, for a dollar. These two uh, packs of vintage Carlton cards, Woodland Holiday Animals, sold in less than 24 hours. I listed at 15 plus shipping, accepted an offer of 12. Still many stickers to go. My store is Jiffy Thrifty LLC on eBay. I did have these listed on Mercari and Poshmark for a couple of weeks. Just cross-posted to eBay last night. Perhaps I should start there first from now on. So um, I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. Just started back on Etsy, but uh, I use this perfectly to cross post and there are different ways to use it. You can use the catalog, you can cross post directly. I have a link down below um, that shows you how to use this perfectly. I do want you to know that the Pro Plus plan is now out and it has the auto D list and lots of new features. So you may want to check it out and upgrade. I think you can use my referral code Bolo Buddies for upgrading also. So keep that in mind, 30% off your first month. And yes, I do recommend starting on eBay if you're not gonna, if you're just gonna start on one and cross post later to the others because eBay I think has the most uh, potential to get a sale quickly, but Mercari and Poshmark Less people are on those platforms. Um, I'm sorry, less items are on those platforms. So it's not as competitive and there may be less competition and different eyes on your items. So definitely consider it. I do have referral links for Poshmark and Mercari down below. Mercari, you'll get $10 to shop and $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff with my referral link. And Poshmark is $10 to shop when you join with my referral link. So check those out. Cross-posting. Highly, highly recommend it. This one comes from Picker Money Flipper. It is a Conchina 
theme bolo tie with turquoise and coral sterling silver western men's. It's a bolo tie. It's a bolo bolo tie. There you go, guys. Uh, sold five or I'm sorry, paid five dollars at a yard sale. How on earth do you get sterling silver for five dollars at a yard sale? What a great find. Sold for three hundred and eleven forty six plus shipping. Uh, definitely check out Picker Money Flipper on uh, YouTube. They have awesome what sold videos. They are mega bolo finders. This is a 2005 Hallmark Beauty of Birds number one Northern Cardinal ornament. No box. She paid a dollar for it at a thrift store and sold within a few days of listing for $74.99 plus shipping. These sell for crazy money if you have the original box. This one comes from Prairie Picker. And this is one I did not know about. So I am definitely going to be on the lookout. It even has a imperfection and no box, no box, $74.99. Imagine if you had the box. Here is another one from the Prairie Picker. She said, oops, paid $2.99 at the thrift store for this cast iron stocking holder. It sold within a day of listing for $54.99 plus shipping. Vintage Tommy or Tumi Depala stocking hoarder. And let's see what that looks like on the bottom. Maybe it has, no, I don't see any marking telling that brand. So maybe Google Lens. If you guys don't know how to use Google Lens, it is a free tool. I have a video that tells you how to use Google Lens. Definitely check that out. If you are a reseller, it will be your best friend. It is free. Put Bolo Buddies Google Lens in the YouTube search bar. It will pull it up. Beat the Market, a scientific stock market system. First edition by Edward O. Thorpe. Bought at an antique market for $8. Sold for $129.97. Iron Cabin eBay store. Probably would have walked right past it. Look at that, you guys. Crazy. The next item is this vintage navy blue leather coach makeup bag case with mirror logo print inside. This is what it looks like a little, I'm going to say that. Yeah, that's vintage. It looks so vintage. How cute is that? Paid $4 at an estate sale back in February for the vintage Navy blue leather coach cosmetic travel, cosmetic travel case sold for $80 plus shipping best offer. This one is a vintage kitty surprise, hot pink mommy cat with three kittens. So these are something that you buy and it's a surprise how many kittens or I think there's dogs also are inside. So this one, she paid $5 for it and sold it for $59.99 within five months. And that one is Prairie Picker, Prairie, the Prairie Picker also. Another home. Oh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Wow, I need some water. Another Hallmark ornament. Keepsake Optimus Prime. Look at this. It's a Transformer. 2014. Look what it sold for. Best offer. $89.99 for this. Not all Hallmark ornaments are equal, but this Transformer one is amazing. Paid $5.99 at a thrift store in November. Did have its original box. The Prairie Thrifter or prairie picker, but this says bird crazy. So I don't know. Maybe they have two, two accounts. Um, the next one here bought at a local Goodwill for 99 cents, sold for my offer of 20, uh, sold for offer of $20 and 87 cents. Don't ask me what this is used for. I have no idea. Uh, selling as edge city traders on eBay and whatnot. Airbrush templates, skull master. So this is an example of selling something that you have no idea what it is and you still make money on it. And it looks like it's new old stock, perhaps. The next item is this sermons of the Rev C.H. Spurgeon of London, 1858, first series, 13th edition. Look how old this is. How cool is that? Wow, it's got some condition issues. Uh, store name, The Dog Patch Picker. I got this antique book at a yard sale for five and sold it within a few days for $99.93. The, uh, the next one is 
Got this jelly cat, Lovey, for free. Sold for full asking price of $79 plus buyer paid shipping. Sold on Poshmark. My closet as, is a Rit a Ritberg. It's right here, guys. Wilbur the Whale, Lovey. If you don't know, Lovey's can sell for big money. I have a whole category video on Lovey's. You can type in Bolo Buddies Lovey. Uh, the Rebel Reseller also has a video on Lovey's. Check her out. She sells a lot of plush and does plush category videos also. So does um, Zombie Bargain Hunter. He uh, does category videos if you guys are interested in those types of videos on plush. $79 right there, you guys. Poshmark. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And let's see if puppy will come up and say hello. Hey, come here. You want to come say hi? Come here. Come on. She's saying, I am too comfortable. Just put the camera on me. <laughs> say hello. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. And thanks for watching.